say hello to all my YouTubers that have been watching me. So says hello to you. Too. So how's everybody doing? I hope so far so good. This is Harry again. So today we're just gonna talk about NVIDIA. So remember, last time we have spoken about it. So I've been showed you how NVIDIA gonna come down. Remember, the previous video that I made was talking about NVIDIA that was very overbought. If you've been watching my previous video, you will see that I was talking about how NVIDIA will go down. Effectively, it's been going down. So remember, anytime the stock has been overbought, it will go down. So as you can see today, NVIDIA has been going down. So the, I will show you how that happened. So remember, so it's been going down. So I told you, whenever the stock is overbought, it will go down. And whenever the stock is oversold, it will go. Now, the way that you can see that, you see here, as I've been teaching you, so we have the interval D, which is each candle represent one day. So remember, the stock was very overbought. I mean, NVIDIA was very good the previous week because of, as I told you, because of the, the earning. So the earning was very great. But it went very high. It is overbought. So I was told you about how you can find when the stock is being overbought. So you just have here as an interval day, let's just put it as a one week. So whenever you change your interval day, meaning each candle represents one day. So this candle that you can see here, the red one represents this week. So coming from Monday, so remember Monday was holiday. So let's say from Tuesday up to today, Friday, and the big green one, that's the time when it was overbought. The green one was the previous week, which is last week. Now, and you're gonna add, when you go to indicators, you go in moving average. So we put three things here. I'm gonna show you those three things that you put there. You're gonna put the moving average, the 20 and the 40, and you're gonna put like the MACD and also what you call board Japan. So those three things are very powerful. So it shows you when this stock is going up or bullish, you know, bullish momentum, and also when the stock is going to be overbought. So first thing I put there was you go to moving average, you put here, like you can put 20, and you always change the color. So if you want to keep it, you keep it. So myself, I always like to differentiate by adding my own color. So I just put the red, I put, uh, let's just put it, I'm gonna put it as a green. The 20, I like to put it as green. So the red, I, always, I leave the red for bearish. So green, which is the 20. And also I'm gonna put the folly. Go to indicators again, you could move in average and you click on tap folly. So you change it to red. So that's I call that bearish to that's a big number. Whenever the big number is under, it's bearish. So it's gonna be 20 and 40. So the small number has to be above the big number, as I told you before. So you click save. So now we got 20 and 40. This line, those two lines represent the moving average. The 20 is the moving average, and the 40 is the moving average, 20 and 40. Now, gonna, so that means stock still in the short term, we call that short term, the 20 and 40 is a momentum bullish. So that means bullish momentum. Now, you're going to add 
Maddy. So click on Maddy. When I put the Maddy line, we we'll put green. And the signal line, I can put it we'll red. That's where I always put the color. So I click C. So you see the bottom. So the moving average always the bottom. If you want to move it up, you can put it up here so you can see clear. So the move it, I leave it in top for you. So if you want, you can see it. So the green line will present like so. the MACD line and the red line will present the signal line. So whenever the MACD lies above the signal line, that's mean the stock is in bullish momentum. So meaning NVIDIA is in bullish momentum. Now, you're going to click, I put it back down, click there, it should be down because it should be down now. The last thing I'm going to put, I'm going to put the bullish event. So what the what bullish event does it shows you the overbought and the oversold. You click on bullish event here, and I can change, change the top, the above to the green. I click it. That's bullish event. So meaning the stock is still overbought for the week. See, because whenever the candle is out of the bullish event, it's overbought. So remember, last week we talked about this big green candle. And I told you, stock was above, way above. If we put the line down there, I'm going to show you the last part here. That's mean it cut. Both have been here. See? If I put the line here, that means it's really cut it. So that's it. That's it. You see? And here. So that's mean the rest above there. That means was overbought last week. And I and I told you that whenever the stock is the candle is above bullish event, that's bullish event, the, the yellow cycle here. So whenever it's above, the stock will come down. That's why we see that it's wet today. You can see stock, it was at 389 last time when we were talking about three, it was at three something. Now it's come up down. This stock was at four something, four eighteen. Now four fourteen. So it's coming down because I told you, Nvidia will come up down somewhere. So if you change this one for one day, you can change it. You see now, for day to day, this candle is getting for today is now inside, getting to inside Bolivia, but spot is a bit outside so that means it's come up down it's coming down so now stock might be going lower because if we put the support here you see the it's 370 today is 392 so the next support we can put there here if we move it down it can be come up to 379 and we should put that resistance here we put a line both that's the way you put the resistance so it's 402 again. So another support back here. We call that another support here. So remember, the way that you add a support or resistance is to check the last three battles. See? When they are above, because here, see? One, two, and three. That's mean we call is a base, a strong support. So whatever is three times is a strong support. We see one, two, three. So that means here is 39. But down here was another support. Remember, support can become resistance and resistance become support. Now it was a support and above down here, above there is a resistance. So whenever the stock went up and go down is a resistance. So the above down here, the above there is a another resistance. See? So now what can be happen? And the job might be going up here to 403, maybe next week, you never know, depending on the news. And we trace back again to that support at 390. So it might be going up like this, going up, as you can see, because you see that's the resistance, because today is 393, 43. Might be going back up because you see the week down there, the week there, above here, you see the week. Up. Let's just fix it a little bit there. Like, see, week. I think it's a four four. So it might be going above here to four four and go coming back to 391. This is 391, something 289. See, 
He didn't win in 1991, but we're going down there. And then if he's if the candle close lower than 291, lower to, uh, lower to the support from the support, might be going lower here to 370. So we got we have that says we have three support here. Just can see. look for it. We have 393, 393, 391. And if you close lower next week, it might be going down lower to 375, 374. That's the next support. But remember, it might be going up to 404. And if it's break again above, if you close above this line, let's see this line here, like the 4443, might be going back again. That's next. So this is the top of the the last uh, uh top of the what's happening here that's going to be again come back to 412 this is the here you see let me just fix the line for you see the 412 let's just fix it okay so when we go back to 412 but it has to be close above 404 next week so whenever it's close above or break this line 404 it might be going back to 4 four twelve. And go another way. That's on the Swiss down above here. That's the that's the time when it's gonna be where we overbought. When it's overbought, it's gonna be like for back to four sixteen, four eighteen. See, but we don't know. Can be going down lower. You see here. Yeah. Actually, is four ninety three. So if it's going lower, quick, lower, maybe going down onto next level will be 370. So as I've been told you, NVIDIA, we've been watching it, has a chance to go lower. It depends, basically. In order for that to go higher, it has to be closed above 404. So if it goes back, maybe going back to 404, Next week, if he's going, remember the stock is going up, down, up. So now he's at uh, three and three. Might be going down to 391, and then just be going back above to four two. If he's break above four two, it might be going higher. But if there's a break, it might be going back again because it's just, well, that's the way it's stuck there. So as you can see, that's the way, my friend. We're gonna keep watching it. And then subscribe, like, and then anytime I got something like that, you'll be notified for next time. So that's the way. So whenever you want to see, do your study, MACD, Bodhi Jaben, and the moving average are those three great key components that you can use. So my friend, it was a pleasure to talk to you today. We'll see you next time. This is Harry. Bye-bye. Touch. Take care.